This is the Road to Tokyo. Hello, and welcome to Road to Tokyo, the VR sculpting battle preliminaries presented to you by Paint and Oculus Medium. I'm Brian Sharp, one of the original co-founders of Oculus Medium, and I'll be your host again today. This week, we are in New York City for the second installment of the Road to Tokyo. Let's take a look back at what happened last time in California. 10 minutes isn't a lot of time to sculpt anything. It's gonna be very tough. I just need to get over my nerves. And there are a lot of heavy hitters in that green room. The winner eats Rose! Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yeah! Rose became champion of Menlo Park and won an all expense paid trip to Tokyo to compete in the Limits World Grand Prix. On today's show, eight more artists will compete in a winner-takes-all knockout-style tournament. Artists will be given a theme and will compete head-to-head -head in 10-minute sculpting battles. This is The Road to Tokyo. Quarterfinal, battle number one. It's an exciting moment. We are just about ready for our very first quarterfinal match of the day between Alexander and Daniel. So I'm Boulder, I'm here in New York, and I'm uh, teaching some VR classes. I'm into arts and VR. I create comics books using VR, and um, I just want to explore with mediums as much as possible. You know, I'm really having a lot of fun with these tools. I spend most of my time in VR, and my wife is getting upset at me so much, man. You have no idea. I am Danny Williams and I design characters for video games and films. Well, Medium has changed how I approach art because it does stuff that even physical clay can't do. So in Medium, I can take something and scale it up to the size of this room and address the surface with my entire body. It's totally changed the way I think about making shapes and being able to use whichever movement I want, and I can't do that in any other way. I'd like to introduce the other judge in the judging panel today, Jessica Zeta. She's a producer on Oculus Medium. Thanks, Brian. This is going to be great. We've got some amazing competitors. Jay-Z and I will be judging on these four criteria. The artist's idea, their speed, their technique, and their visual storytelling as they sculpt. Jay-Z, you want to give us a theme? Dangerous window. Dangerous window. I'm going to give you a minute to think about that, and then we'll get the sculpting started. Quarterfinal battle number one, Alexander versus Daniel. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, fight. Curious to see if we'll get the same thing here that we did in California, which is a pretty consistent sort of cadence. 10 minutes isn't a super long time, so you, you know, I think we found that we tended to see people go through the same sort of um, phases. Sort of rough block out, uh -huh. detail, and then polish. Right, exactly, like the mass in, and the interesting thing as a, as, a, as a spectator watching it is, initially you're trying to figure out what it is, right? You know what the theme is, dangerous window, kind of looking at this internally like, huh, like what are they thinking? medium, I realize, is just going to come off as a shameless plug. It's so versatile. You can do so much with it, Jessica. Um, what a tool. But no, you know, you get some artists that really are, are very hard surface focused, some artists that really do more organic work, some that do environments, some that do object, and so it's... Some um, that are like gestural, those right. sketches or geometry. Right, exactly. A lot, fo some focus on structure, some really focus on gesture. Um, but I think what we saw in Menlo Park was that it really makes for more interesting variety. Mm -hmm. Five minutes left. Mm -hmm. You can still overall see those four criteria come through. And storytelling also. Right. Interesting uh, differences in use of color also. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's another thing you see is, yeah, uh, right, some people some people paint things after the fact, some people always choose colors when they're adding the clay, mm -hmm. some people you don't know, color at all. people from a traditional sculpting background, a lot of the times don't color at all, right? Because if you're sculpting in clay, you know. <laughs> there is no. Right, if you're casting it, if you're 3D printing it, you know, maybe maybe you'd, maybe you'd color it afterwards, but even if you're casting it in, you know, in bronze or something like that, you know, it's not like you colorize it, you patina it. Mm. It's amazing seeing how much y'all get done, right? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot to put on, put out there and, 10 yeah. minutes. And at the quality, too. It's oh, like, god damn you A guys. little less than three minutes left. 
Coming down to just over a minute left. You guys are doing awesome. You are. One minute left. <laughs> 30 seconds, artists. I like this so far, pretty consistent. Seeing uh, those last seconds used for some final detailing, which really does, uh, you know, I think consistently makes a big difference. 10 seconds. Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. Good job, you guys. Yeah, that was awesome. It's interesting how different these are. <laughs> They're incredibly different. Um, Daniel's sort of looks like a monster coming out of Stargate. I think that's the idea. Uh, so I was just gonna say, I feel like Daniel, I would say, felt stronger technically, his use of the move tool and his organic shapes and stuff like that, whereas I think Alexander was doing simpler work. But at the same time, Alexander's use of color and the clarity of forms, I think makes it read better. I really mm -hmm. wanted Daniel's to be a little, right. you know, either with, with, with palette or with, with lighting or, or something, right? Like A little more drama. Just a little easier to read. Yeah. Um, it takes a little bit for me to understand what's going on. Whereas, you know, I think Alexander's is, is much more evident. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's interesting. Time for judgment. Amazing work by both artists in this very first quarterfinal match here in the New York City Road to Tokyo. After deliberation, we have come to a decision. The winner of round one, first quarterfinals match is Daniel. Congratulations. Strong work by both of you. Thank you so much. All right, thank you. Daniel wins and advances to the semifinal. Man, the element of time, 10 minutes in there is rough. I'm still shaking a little bit. Quarterfinals, battle number two. And it's time for quarterfinal match round two. So my name's Natasha. I'm a artist, a traditional artist. Um, I picked up Medium about a year ago and I just knew that it was the future when I, the first time I ever saw it. Um, and I haven't been able to put it down ever since. My name is Eli and uh, I'm a tequila maker and an artist. Um, spent eight years making tequila. We have a ranch out in Mexico, but I also used to make Burning Man art, I made Babylon Tower back in 2008, made some art cars, did sculpture at the Academia in Florence, Italy. So I've been around and been doing some things for a while. Jay-Z, you want to give us a theme for this battle? Infinite fire. The theme is infinite fire. I'm going to give Eli and Natasha one minute to think about that, and then we'll get the sculpting started. Quarterfinal, battle number two. Natasha versus Eli. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, fight. Infinite Fire is a pretty good theme. Strong out the gate. Right, exactly. Infinite Fire. I gotta be honest, we're just coming up on two and a half minutes in and I do not yet view. Put a gun to my head, I couldn't tell you. <laughs> couldn't tell you either of them yet. Mirror planes are off. Oh wait, no. Nope. Eli has his. Yep. <sighs> All right, yeah, I'm liking what I'm seeing on both coming. sides here. That's cool. Yep. Right, in both cases, it just never fails to amaze me, right? You get clean, readable forms just from such different processes. Mm -hmm. Five minutes left. You're doing great. Yeah, You're you guys great. are both doing really well. Remember to breathe. Mm-hmm. Really using all of the yeah, options Yeah, get some little dramatic lighting over here. I like those spots. Can we get into Fred Flintstone's vibe? <laughs> Ooh. Making a stamp. Mm-hmm. Ooh. I like in both cases this kind of attention to composition, right? It's not just about where the clay is, it's about how it reads mm -hmm. and what the scene's doing. Mm -hmm. The presentation right. and the attention is right, right. really paying off for both artists. Oh, the 
the swirl. All right, then... we are down to two minutes left. Oh, as we get down to these final final minutes, you can kind of cut the tension with a knife. <laughs> with the cut tool. Oh. <laughs> One minute left. One minute left, artists. You are both doing super well. Take a deep breath. Get those final details in. Oh, that's pretty clever. Final 10 seconds, artists. And consistently, it feels like the time just flies. Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. All right, that's it. Headsets up. Yes. Well done. Well done. Neither of them really hits infinite five. Like the infinite part, it feels kind of missing. I, I thought um, Eli's use of the eight as an infinity symbol was kind of yeah. clever, but it feels, uh, it was done late. It feels just kind of a little bit like, oh, there's gonna be some infinity in there. Right, um, but Natasha's interpretation of infinite fire is cerebral a little bit. Right. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be honest, I feel like oftentimes when I see artists start with um, block-ins, I feel like they don't necessarily get the gesture as much. And so when Eli immediately began by uh, doing kind mm -hmm. of gestural sketching, I kind of had him in the lead initially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, I was really impressed at how Natasha actually then put a bunch of finishing touches. Like it looks very refined. Mm -hmm. uh, like she really knew what she was gonna do and she knew where to put stuff. Um, she knew what shapes she wanted. She did. Time for judgment. Amazing work from both Eli and Natasha in the second quarterfinal round. After deliberations, we have come to a decision. The winner of the second quarterfinal round here at the New York City Road to Tokyo is... Natasha. Congratulations and amazing work. Natasha wins and advances to the semifinal. I'm a little surprised, but you know, I'm feeling good about it. Yeah, I really hope to get something where I can sculpt like an animal. Quarterfinal, battle number three. Ready to kick off the third quarterfinal match, this time between Lorenzo and Max. My name is Lorenzo Fonda, and I am um, a filmmaker and animator and uh, illustrator and uh, cartoonist. My art style is uh, um, fluid. <laughs> Max Hergen, Robert. I uh, live in New York, work at St. John's University. I do... Uh, art classes for Department of Art and Design, and I'm a technology director for College of Professional Studies. I almost don't do anything for myself in 2D anymore. I almost work in medium exclusively if I'm not doing a commission project. All we need is a theme. Jay-Z, you want to give us one? Night future. Night future. Give you guys a minute to think about that, and then we'll get started. Quarter final, battle number three. Lorenzo versus Max. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, fight. And they're off. And they're off. Night future. That's a, one of the more abstract ones yeah. we've gotten. I'm curious to see what they come up with. As ever, off to an interesting start. Both of them approaching it differently. No idea what they're doing yet. Gonna be excited to see it come into focus. I think this one is where we're going to see uh, different interpretations right. based on people's personal lives and experiences. Because it is really abstract. It's really anyone's game. It is. Seeing a fairly, uh, fairly tried and true combination of clay and move over there mm -hmm. from Max. Though, Say so we've seen some emissive already today, but this is the yeah. first use of metal we've seen, so that's exciting. And the first use of steady stroke. Oh yeah, you're right. Four minutes left. Lorenzo is a filmmaker, animator, cartoonist. Mm -hmm. Max is a toy maker that brings a different color to their sculptures. Right. The complexion is just... This was a great idea. Who thought of this? <laughs> this is amazing. What, the battles? Or yes. you mean medium? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> um, couple of idiots. A... Ooh. Ooh, I like those little pops of color. I spoke too soon. <laughs> 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 it's okay, you still got them. 
This is good. I like what we're seeing. You know what I just realized? What's light. That? Light is a homonym, a homophone. Mm-hmm. One minute left. So. I think, yeah. <laughs> I think that's uh, as intended. Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. Put your headsets up. Yeah. Well done. Lorenzo, I I think his idea is a little bit stronger because it's a little less literal, right? Like, I feel like uh, your point about the homophone, uh, Max went for a future night, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is cool and it's on theme, but I think there's a, a little more, it's a little less literal on Lorenzo's side. And the general tones are, are very different. One's mm -hmm. sweet and sort of romantic, at least to me, and then the other is very aggressive and... Yep. Um, it's, this one's a hard one. Time for judgment. In the third quarterfinals match between Lorenzo and Max, you both did amazing work. I'm particularly delighted by the different interpretation of the word night. I think you both came up with really strong concepts and did really strong execution. After deliberation, we have come to a decision. The winner of the third quarterfinal round is... Max. Congratulations. Great work, both of you. Max wins and advances to the semifinal. I don't really have any delusions that I'm the one who's gonna walk out of here a winner. I am just trying to be objective about it and go in and have fun. If I get to go to Tokyo and go compete for there, that's fantastic. Quarterfinal battle number four. And we're ready for our fourth quarterfinal battle between Glenn and Milad. So uh, I'm Glenn, I'm from the UK, and I am a digital sculptor, and I run a small company in the UK that does um, character and creature design. I, I'd like to say I'm not bothered um, whether I win or not, but that's not true, I want to win. I just absolutely want to win, because I want to go to Tokyo. My name's Milad. Um, I'm an artist, lived, um, based in New York City. Uh, I'm a 2D, 3D illustrator and concept artist, character artist. Obviously, Tokyo is one of the places that is same as West Coast, uh, like LA or New York, there are a lot of these places that are like very big in in concept design and character design or 3D art. And so going to Tokyo would be a very amazing experience. All we need now is a theme. Jay-Z, you wanna hit us up? Nostalgic city. Nostalgic city. Give you gentlemen a minute to think about that and then we'll get started. Quarterfinal battle number four. Glenn versus Milad. Starting in five, four, three, Two, one, fight. I like Nostalgic City as a theme. It just, just sounds nice. <laughs> very consistently seeing very different beginnings from both artists. Yeah. Interesting to see. You can tell both of these artists right now clearly taking very different approaches, um, bringing different skill sets to bear, and both, you know, so far finding a lot of success with it. Mm -hmm. Five minutes left. Also consistent today, seeing, um, you know, kind of as we hit these little little uh, mile markers time-wise, you kind of see different phases kind of emerge. People pivot and people... Try things out. Well, are they, you know, it's kind of like, okay, that means it's time to start doing that. You know, it's interesting to see the transitions from kind of mass out and the concept kinds of, you know, it's like in both of these cases, you can really clearly see the interpretation of the theme now. Mm. This is an interesting one. It's certainly the first of the battles today that we've seen where the theme really implies um, such a larger scope. Mm -hmm. It keeps the playing field level that they still, you know, both have the same amount of time to do it, but I think it is, there's, there's a lot to do. Right. Because of the nature of the theme. Two minutes left. You guys are doing really well. Yep. Time to see some uh, moving through the phases. Both of the visions have been pretty clear for several minutes now. Now we're starting to see how complete these compositions are gonna end up. One minute left. I just have been sitting here in silence, and it's not because I have nothing to say. It's I'm really quite engrossed just watching both of these artists work. Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. Amazing work, both of you. I thought this was supposed to be an easy job. 
I love the way that Glenn used lighting to convey nostalgia, right? Yeah. There's a sunset uh, kind of glow on Central Park there. Yeah. Um, but I also love the way that Milad, you know, used stamps to add distress. He really, you know, yeah. his choice really, con like for him, nostalgic was ancient. I think for Glenn, nostalgic was kind of contemporary, but iconic. Mm -hmm. Um, and also topical. We're in New York. Right. It's, he obviously sees it romanticized. Mm -hmm. I mean, both of them made exceptionally good use of their time. I mean, to the point that when we talked about, when we gave them a two minute and a one minute, they both literally switched to doing the exact yes. same. At the same yes. moment, they're like, time for lighting, time for framing. Um, yeah, this one's going to be real close for me. Time for judgment. In the fourth quarterfinal match here in New York City between Glenn and Milad, I will say that as a judge of an art battle, you don't expect it to be quite so stressful. Uh, <laughs> both of these artists did unbelievable work. It was a total honor watching both of you work. After quite a bit of deliberation, we did come to a decision. The winner of the fourth quarterfinal match, moving on to the semifinals, is Milad. Congratulations. You, got, that's, you made our jobs extremely difficult. Like Milad wins and advances to the semifinals. Um, one step closer to going to Tokyo, which is amazing, and I'm just enjoying this a lot. Yeah, I feel pretty happy about it. So Brian, my heart's racing, my hands are sweaty. Why is this so exciting for you as a sculpting battle? We've done a lot of art battles with Medium before. We've done trade show performances, other live battles, that kind of thing. This is the first time we're doing something for real stakes. So the winner today and at each of these qualifiers wins an all expenses paid trip to Tokyo in June. And what I didn't expect in California was just how much more energy that brings to the day. And so I'm really excited to see that again today. We got educators, we got hobbyists, look dev artists, we got a toy maker. It's gonna be intense, it's gonna be spicy out there. Semi-final, battle number one. It's time, we're ready for our first of the semi-final matches here in New York City at the Road to Tokyo, this time between Daniel and Natasha. What is it gonna take? for you to win today's competition? Uh, for everybody in the room next door to just fall down dead uh, because there are some killers over there. So I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna win, but uh, I'm gonna have fun and learn. I think that the only thing that I have to worry about is getting out of my own way. I know how to use the program. I'm a little bit inexperienced at creating uh, characters and imagery without reference. So that's probably the one thing that I am a little worried about. But other than that, I know the program and I uh, just gotta have fun. All we need is a theme. Jay-Z, you know the drill. Sacred nature. Sacred nature. As usual, 60 seconds on the clock and then we'll get started with the sculpting. Semi-final battle number one. Daniel versus Natasha. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, fight. Mm -hmm. Sacred Nature is a pretty good one. Mm. I'm excited to see what they come up with. Two different reads on this theme. Strong initial work, I think, compared to the quarterfinals. I think the ideas, I would say, are both emerging faster. I see more refinement. Five minutes left. Ooh, bring out the manipulators. I like it. Oh, yeah. This is so entertaining. I know. Artist, two minutes remain. You're doing great. Yeah, this is amazing to watch. You guys have really upped the ante in the semifinals for sure. Yep. 30 seconds. I'd say this final bit, especially with artists as good as these two, is like one of my favorite parts to watch because you just see a lot of things really come to life with this kind of detailing and composition work. Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. Amazing work, both of you. Yeah. Natasha's awesome, so. I just saw her piece for the first time. I think I probably just got murdered. Knowing what she did, I would have probably done a smaller, more focused piece, you know, because I feel like she brought an intimacy to the piece that I didn't. I'm okay with what I did. I think it was it was pretty good. I'm, I'm not unhappy with it. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. 
but I, I think I did okay. I kind of feel like Daniel basically didn't finish. I don't think he managed his time yeah. super well. Yeah. Um, yeah. He ended up, a bunch of stuff isn't, isn't painted. There's a bunch of details. So I think in a way, I would say she really gets the edge because of her masterful time management. At the end, she was adding beautiful details and all this stuff. And I think he got a little bit too caught up with using the move tool to sculpt a really good tree when he probably should have, he could have still done all that detailing work mm. with the move tool, but he should have blocked in everything and kind of, you know, one of my anatomy teachers said of sculpture, you know, your sculpture should look finished at all times, right? Mm. So it should always be uniformly complete. Wow. Um, and I think he dove too deep on the tree and then ran out of time to do the other stuff. Right, but I think he nailed the brief better than Natasha. It is, uh, it definitely looks sacred and the nature is there for me. There's not a lot of nature with the scene, uh, with Natasha's scene. Yeah, I don't know. I'm a little more, I'm a little closer on that one. I think both of them get the theme pretty well. I mean, Natasha's, you know, it's a cultural reference, but I think it's respectful. Um, you know, Daniel's is a little more more fantastic, more little kind of RPG elements there. But I don't, uh, to me, I didn't feel like one of them was obviously a better interpretation of the theme. Well, I guess we'll let the numbers decide. There we go. Time for judgment. Well, that was an exciting 10 minute first semifinal battle here in New York City on the road to Tokyo. Uh, it was an honor watching both of you sculpt and you did amazing work. After extensive deliberation for the first time on the road to Tokyo, we have a tie. Which means we will invoke the rules for what happens in the case of a tie, which is that you are both given five additional minutes to continue working on the same sculpt with the same theme. After which, as judges, we will deliberate again. All right. <laughs> so, we will give you 60 more seconds to think. As usual, you can put your headsets on halfway, and then when we're ready to start the clock, we'll give you a countdown, and you'll get five additional minutes that will work exactly the same way. Semi-final, battle number one, tiebreaker battle. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, fight. Now, the first tie at the road to Tokyo. This has never happened before. In all the sculpt VR sculpting battles in the world, this yeah. is the first tie. Yeah, this is literally a, a world premiere of a tie in a virtual reality sculpting battle. I think it's interesting. I like the overtime rules because to me, it requires that the artists evaluate their work critically and accurately mm -hmm. so that they know what things, you know, are going to materially improve it mm -hmm. versus just kind of, you know, um, being icing, you know, or something that's already really, really right. uh, fine. Two minutes left. I was gonna say this is interesting. Both of the artists doing their doing their best to make our jobs continue to be difficult. <laughs> Are you sure there's no audio? In right, exactly. <laughs> One minute left. A lot of strong aesthetic sensibility on show here. Mm -hmm. Thirty seconds, artists. Final ten seconds of overtime. Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. Touch Whoa. controllers down. That is it. I looked at what she did. I was pretty sure I got murdered and was ready for that. So yeah, I was shocked that it was a tie. Um, so yeah, uh, she's a great competitor. So I'm, I'm honored. That was crazy. Um... I hope I didn't uh, hurt, shoot myself in the foot with those last five minutes, though. You know, all in all, I'm, I still think I did okay, and I'm, you know, I'm happy with what I did. I, I didn't embarrass myself completely. <laughs> First, I'm really excited that we did an overtime because yes. I think it really did show a different side of both of these artists, yeah. and it was, I mean, it's just exciting. It's the semifinals. It's drama. A real mental exercise for them too. They were not expecting it. They had just sprinted for ten minutes. They had another five minutes on. They, did, they had no idea what was going on. Right. Right. Uh, but I will say that going in, because my primary critique of Daniel's work is that it felt unfinished, mm -hmm. whereas my critique of Natasha's work is that it felt like her her style didn't incorporate some of the modern right. tools. In my head, I almost worried that it was a bias, that overtime was a bias towards Daniel because it allowed him to compensate for not pacing himself mm -hmm. to finish up. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised at how he decided to spend that time. Yes, I think Daniel focused on like, correcting his mistakes or what he thought were mistakes. And right. then Natasha built upon the scene, built upon the story. And I think she gets marks for 
using more move tool, like you had said, and also for bringing that nature in. Time for judgment. Well, that was a dramatic overtime round for our first semifinal match here in New York City on the road to Tokyo. You guys are both great sports. I know that probably wasn't what you were expecting to walk back into. <laughs> you handled it with grace and aplomb. Based on the continued execution of the sculptures, we were able to come to a decision. The winner of the first semifinal round here in New York City at the Oculus Medium and Limits Road to Tokyo is Natasha. Congratulations. Great work for you. You're both such good sports about the whole thing. Natasha wins and advances to the final. I did not think I was going to make it this far. That tiebreaker was crazy, and I think he did a really good job, too. I'm going to keep on with the simplistic kind of cartoony style. I think that's kind of doing me justice right now. And uh, hopefully the theme will be fairly easy <laughs> this time. And hopefully I don't get another tie. <laughs> Semi-final battle number two. It's time for the second semifinals match here at the New York City Road to Tokyo VR sculpting battles. This time between Max and Milad. I'm pretty fast with what I do, and uh, I feel like speed have a have a thing in this competition. So hopefully I win. I don't know. Get the right combination, get a great idea, and go in and not have anything go wrong while you're trying to make that idea happen inside of 10 minutes' time. Jay Z, you know the drill. You want to give us our theme? Fluffy flower. Fluffy flower. <laughs> As ever, we will give you a minute to think about that. And then when the clock starts, we'll give you a countdown, headsets on, and you have 10 minutes to sculpt your masterpiece. Semi final, battle number two Max versus Milad. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, fight. Certainly the most whimsical theme of the day. <laughs> I don't necessarily know what I would do for this one. And while I can guess what some of these forms are, mm -hmm. it might take a little bit before we see what they're thinking of. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of, of calm determination mm -hmm. in the room. I'd say just like the first semifinal, this one feels a little more serious. It's a little more at stake. Mm -hmm. Calm, decisive. I know. I like the purposeful movements on both artist sides. This isn't their first rodeo. That's true. <laughs> really interesting in this case. I feel like one of these, the theme's starting to emerge for me more than the other, but we've definitely had battles in the past where it kind of felt that way. You know, these still very different approaches. We have yet to see a battle where it felt like we were watching two artists really take the same tack on something. Mm -hmm. I think both these artists have a history starting with 2D and then moving mm. to 3D. So it'll be interesting to watch. For example, Max is an illustrator. Yep. And Milad sometimes will even use medium to sketch out his 2D work. Yep. Artists, we are down to our final two minutes. did not occur to me until this very moment that we had another homophone. Uh... Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. Save your scenes Oof. and headsets up. Oof. Amazing work, guys. Tense 10 minutes. Yeah. I think I did a little bit better in round one than I did in round two. I've never done anything fluffy, I don't think, in my life. So see what happens with it. I feel like it was fun. Anyway, not my best work, but we'll see what happens. I hope I did good. I mean, the, the subject was really non-related to everything I do. Like, I don't have one single flower in my work, so I, I'm kind of happy with how it went. I struggle a little with the composition. Mm -hmm. um, it took me a while to figure out what it was, and I don't know that medium is a tool for expressing like a powder, like flour or something mm -mm. like that. I don't know exactly how I would go about doing that. Mm -mm. Um, that said, I will say, I think Milad's interpretation was a little bit literal, right? Yeah, it's, it's, say, right. It's, it looks fluffy, it looks bulbous, it's a flower. What a surprise. <laughs> um, yeah, tough. It, the randomness of the theme, it's really tough. 
But I will say the technical execution of a flag, if you told me to make a fluffy flower, I probably wouldn't be able to come up with that. I think it's a, it's a really aesthetically strong mm -hmm. flower. It delivers on the notion of fluffy. I also think to some extent, maybe this theme just kind of didn't play to either of their strengths. Some of the artists today that have more of a cartoon style, I think you could really get, you know, more of a, a cartoon interpretation mm -hmm. of a flower with, you know, pillows or feathers or something like that, mm -hmm. right? Time for judgment. So dramatic second semifinal battle here at the New York City Road to Tokyo VR Sculpting Battles. It's an honor watching both of your work. You did amazing work. After much deliberation, we, the judges, have come to a conclusion. The winner, this, the second semifinal battle, going on to the finals match next, is... Milad. Congratulations. Nice work. Yeah, well done, both of you. Milad wins and advances to the final. It was it was great. Yeah, I feel pretty happy about it. And I learned some stuff like I should not make a file too heavy because I spent a few seconds there waiting for for like a duplicate to like happen or like processing the software. So we'll see. I'm gonna use use whatever I have for the next round. New York City Championship Round. The extra dramatic lining in here can only mean one thing, which is it's time for the final art battle here at the New York City installment of the Road to Tokyo VR art battles with Oculus Medium and Paint. We're gonna watch in just a few minutes, Milad and Natasha battle it out to see who's gonna win an all expenses paid trip to Tokyo to compete in the Limits World Grand Prix in June. I would love to win. <laughs> it would be great if I win. Um, if not, just like, Already, I'm pretty honored to be at this stage and be here. And like, these guys are great. So having a lot of fun. I just think it would really make me feel like I accomplished something. And VR has been one of these those things that has really gotten me through a lot of tough times. And so to be acknowledged for something that I made in VR and to be able to go and share that with people in Tokyo would just be so, so wonderful. We only need one more thing. We need our theme. Jay-Z, you want to give us one? The championship theme is Secret Duel. Secret Duel. D-U-E-L, Duel. There you go. You guys got it. As ever, we will give you a minute to think about that. And then when the clock starts, we'll give you a countdown, headsets on. You have 10 minutes to sculpt your masterpiece. Championship round. Milad versus Natasha. Starting in five, four, three, two, one, fight. I know, I'm really stressed and I'm not even doing anything. Yeah, the sweat has come back. <laughs> Secret Duel's a good one. We actually, that was one of the themes in our MPK art battles also. Oh. So I'm curious to see how this can, this will be the first time that I've seen artists uh, use the same theme for more than one of the battles. Across space. Right, it's across time. space and time. What Milad is doing isn't necessarily what I would have expected based on his earlier. Wow, really? Yeah, maybe not. But Natasha's style is, is is very consistent and she executes it really well. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's true, that kind of speaks to the visual storytelling aspect of it. It really is, you know, we're looking for how engaging is this to watch, right? I'll say I'm grinning in a way that I don't think I have been I watching any of the previous ones. Just feels special. I know. I like their different interpretations, and they're both awesome to watch. Great use of move tool over on Natasha's side. It's like expressive forms. Three minutes left. I like it. I do like. I do feel like Milad's is one of those that I hope people are able to see in VR afterwards because I bet it's one of those where the mm. sense of scale is probably hard to convey on a screen. Yeah. It really uses the medium. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> mm, same move by both of them, though. I like it. It's interesting, in this schema, layer management becomes important. Two minutes left. That's a good point. Well, in the same way that like resolution management is important because you don't want to get yourself stuck with operations taking a really long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, having an idea of where you know, it's the same as, as any art program with layers, right? It's like you want to make sure you've got everything. It's, it's your organization mm -hmm. system, right? Mm -hmm. One minute left. 
like the gestures in both pieces. A lot of character in both, very expressive. 10 seconds left. Oof. Prepare to finish in five, four, three, two, one. Headsets off. Your headsets Ooh. off. Wow. Well done, guys. Uh, it was really hard. It's like a lot of rush. My competition was very strong. Like she's she's good. So I picked this idea, and then I go with it all the way to the end. I hope they get it. What I was trying to do. I don't know. I hope so, but I really don't know. We'll see. I'm feeling okay. That was a little rough. I think I was uh, trying to stick to the animal theme a little too hard. But I'm still, you know, no matter what happens, I'm still happy with what I did. I think I put my best foot forward today. But overall, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> my high-level thoughts are, I think better storytelling in Malad's, and I think he captured the secret. At, like, there's nothing really yes. secret about Natasha's. Yes. I think his ants are technically worse than her cats, though. I think she. Well, they're just they were quicker, right? Like right. they were done faster. Um, I think her, because she blocks in forms, I think yeah. she struggles with gesture a little bit. Like the, the poses of the cats are less interesting to me than the poses of the ants. Right, but when, even though they look simpler, they're executed so well that it, you forgive a lot of things. Right. And they're like incredibly whimsical. This little paper hat, like all these little touches. She just mm -hmm. does a really good job with that stuff. I think Milad excels with things that are truer to life. Um, but I love his use of scale and his use of color. Yeah, I think for me, the storytelling aspect is probably the thing that tips the scales, but it is extremely close. It is. Time for judgment. This was an amazing final battle between Milad and Natasha. It is incredible what you both accomplished in 10 minutes. It was a joy to watch you. You should be incredibly proud of yourselves, and we are honored that you came here and uh, put yourself through a, a day of crazy sculpting battles. After we deliberated, the judges, we have come to a decision. The winner and the recipient of an all-expenses-paid trip to Tokyo to the 2019 Limits World Grand Prix VR Sculpting Battle is... Milad. Congratulations. Congratulations, Milad. <laughs> Milad Woo! wins an all-expense-paid all right. trip to Tokyo to compete in the Limits Digital Art Battle. Right. I'm super happy and stoked that I won, but I, I feel like I found like a group of people that I'm gonna be friends for a while and they're all in the same field. We understand our language, that we talk to each other. Everybody are so cool, I, I can't ask for a better competition, to be honest. And I'm, I really thank Medium for, for making this happen. Thanks to everyone watching for joining us. Uh, it's been a super exciting day. Can't wait to see you next time when we're in London to determine the third and final qualifier who will join us in Tokyo. Until then, see you next time. On the next Road to Tokyo, we go to London where eight more contestants battle it out for a chance at glory.